What's up guys, MetaHuman Animator is finally here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to borrow your girlfriend's iPhone, take a video of your face, and turn yourself into a video game character that you can animate and do with whatever you want. Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm super stoked to show you this and I don't want to take up too much of your time, so let's just jump right into it. Alright, first thing we're going to have to do is download LiveLink Face app for iOS. This will allow us to record our face using the iPhone camera's LiDAR in a format that can be used by Unreal Engine to create a skeletal mesh. Once it's downloaded, scroll through the license section and give it whatever permissions it says it needs. After you've selected accept and continue, select the MetaHuman Animator option and press continue. Now you're going to have to click on settings so we can configure LiveLink to be able to connect to your PC. I had a lot of trouble getting this to connect and I'm not alone in this, so for now I just suggest you manually transfer the files and I'll show you how to set that up for Unreal in this video as well. If you do want to give it a shot, click on settings and then select OSC server under remote control. Under listener, fill in the information for your iPhone if it isn't already filled in by default. Then click on target and fill in the information for your PC. Some people have had success using port 11111 so I recommend you do that to begin with. Also, make sure your VPN is turned off and both your computer and your iPhone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. If your PC is plugged in with an Ethernet cable, you should disconnect it because this is a really finicky process. Before you exit the settings, set your video to the highest resolution possible to make sure you get the best quality scan. You also want to set the frame rate to 30 FPS rather than 60. Once Live Link's all set up and ready to go, it's time to start recording. When recording your facial scan, it's best to use a ring light if possible because it's important that you're evenly lit. If you don't have a ring light, you can also sit in a room near a well-lit window, but it's not recommended to stand outside in direct sunlight. Get a friend, girlfriend, or your mom to help you for the best results, but if nobody's around, it's totally okay to do it by yourself too. It's important that you stay completely still, lips closed, eyes open for the duration of the scan. I found that a recording time of around 1 minute total works just fine for this. Keep in mind while we process this scan in Unreal Engine, we're going to have to select 3 shots. One frontal shot, and a left frame, and a right frame. The way I've gotten the best results so far has been to use a spiral pattern, starting with a small circle at the nose and gradually rotating wider and wider. Now that we have our facial scan, if you plan to transfer this manually, which once again I definitely suggest you do if you want the least amount of problems. Press the little action button on the bottom left of the iPhone screen to open your recordings. Select the recording you want and press the share button. I shared mine via iCloud and logged into iCloud.com to grab it for my computer but you can use whatever methods most convenient for you. Once you've retrieved the files on your computer, open the Epic Games Launcher and download MetaHumans and the MetaHumans plugin from the marketplace. Add these to the engine and to your project as necessary. Now open the MetaHumans project you just downloaded and let that load up. Once you're in, go to Edit, Plugins, find the MetaHuman plugin, and activate it. You also need to make sure the AR Kit plugins are activated, so go ahead and search those in the search bar, but they should already be activated by default. Once the plugins are all good to go, it should prompt you to restart the engine, so go ahead and do that. I chose to create a level here also, but that's not necessary. Now in your content browser, right click and under MetaHuman Animator, create a new capture source and name it whatever you want. Now open it up, click on the drop down menu, and if you plan on transferring your scans from your iPhone wirelessly, select Live Link Face Connection and enter in your phone's IP address and port number. Otherwise, if you did manually download and unzip the scans from your iPhone like I did, select Live Link Face Archives and browse to the files you downloaded. Once you've done this, push the save button and close this window. Then we're going to go up to tools and click capture manager. If you've done everything right up to this point, it should show your iPhone and your facial scans here. Select the ones you want to use and click add to queue at the bottom for each one. Once you have all the scans you want, click on import all. This is going to bring the scans into Unreal Engine and create a new folder with all the files and the metadata for these scans as you can see here. Now that we have that, let's go back to the content browser and create a new MetaHuman identity. So right click and under MetaHuman Animator, select MetaHuman Identity and name it whatever you want and then open it. Then up at the top, click on Create Component, 
from footage and select the facial scans we just imported from our iPhone. Now you should be at this big screen with your face on it. So what we have to do here is pick out three frames for Unreal Engine to work with. The first frame is always going to be your frontal frame, so scrub through the footage and find a good frontal frame. It's important that your lips are closed, you're centered, and your eyes are opened. Once you've found a frame that you like, push the little plus button to select the frontal frame and rename it front. Now we have to do the same thing for the left and the right, so click on the little video camera icon. We only need 3 frames total, so scrub through the footage again and select the left frame, press the plus button, name it, and do the same for the right frame. Make sure the angles aren't too extreme. You want to see the same markers that you saw in the front frame on these frames too. Once you've picked out all 3 frames, go up to the top and push MetaHuman Identity Solve to process your face. Once this is done, we can press the little camera icon up top and see how things are looking. There are a few different options for you to play with, so look around and make sure you're happy with the results. If you are, then there's only one thing left to do, which is to click on body and select a body type, and then go up to mesh to metahuman, pick a skeletal mesh if that's all you want, let it load, and then that's it. Unreal will tell you that it saved the skeletal mesh to the content browser, and now you have a virtual version of yourself to animate and play with and do whatever you want. Thanks again for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, I have a lot of other really cool metahuman stuff I want to show you, and with that I'll see you on the next one.